What's up guys, MC Stu here. And today I wanna to go over some news that was posted today on the Star Trek Online dev blog. This is something that um, we have been expecting. The event has ran for quite a few years uh, now in a row. But the reason I highlight this every year, I did last year as well, is that if you're a newer player or somebody that hasn't participated in this event, this is something that you really want to do. Um, by participating in the event, you can get yourself a tier six ship as well as one of the meta starship traits in the game for free on account wide unlock. Um, so let's quickly talk about what the event is, when it starts, and then we'll talk about how to participate and the rewards you can get and uh, all the details. So this is a Klingon recruitment event uh, returning. Again, I think this started three years ago, I wanna say, which was awesome when they introduced this to the game. The event is going to start on, uh, let's see, the 15th, and it's gonna run through the 7th. So it is going to overlap the end of the uh, anniversary event that's currently running and ends on the 21st. Uh, this event, um, they have stated here that it is going to run on February 20th um, through March 12th uh, for Xbox and console. So this is kind of unique. Normally what they do is a separate blog post for each, uh, but they have announced this for the console players in advance at the same time as announcing the start date for PC. So PC is going to get it first, but console is going to get this um, just a little bit uh, later and only by, what, five days here. So that's nice that these are a little bit more in alignment. Normally you're like a whole month behind. So console players, um, this video is relevant for you as well. So let's talk about what a recruit character is, how to get it, and how to get the stuff from it, okay? So when this goes live, what you're gonna wanna do is roll a Klingon recruit. So let, let's back up a little bit and talk about the recruits in general. So throughout the year, Star Trek Online will run events where if you roll certain kinds of characters, depending on the particular event, they are gonna be special. And we can take a look at what that looks like here at the menu page. Um, so basically for the Klingon recruit, you're going to roll a Klingon during this time. And you can see here, so I have one from a few years back and you see it has this little badge. Okay, here's a Jemadar recruit or a, a Gamma recruit, a Temporal recruit. Um, what is this one? This one always escapes my mind. Where was Voyager stranded? It's <laughs> that part of Galaxy uh, recruit. And you can see I have a couple of them here. Now with the, with the Delta recruits, which is this one here, there are a number of different, I think you can roll pretty much any character and make it a Delta recruit. Um, that's not what's running now, but the different factions will have different um, you know, rewards that you can get. They're similar, but they basically stack up and are on unlock. And this will be a little bit more clear when I go into more detail on it. But the point is, is that each of these recruits are different and you will get different kinds of rewards for, for doing them. So today what we're focusing on is going to be the Klingon recruit because that's what's coming up. I personally think it's the best, but anytime these come up, if you don't have one, get one. There are advantages to each of them, but I think you get the best prizes out of this one. So if you're brand new or you started, you know, last year sometime and you just haven't done any of these or maybe just one or two, it definitely pays to at least have one of each. And then in the Delta, again, you could have a Fed and you could have a Klingon or a Romulan one, and that will give you similar rewards, but they're stacking. So it gives you more rewards on account unlock. And again, we'll go into a little bit more detail on that in a moment. So let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna log back into my Klingon recruit. So I created this character during a Klingon recruit event. It has to be a uh, Klingon. Um, you can make it like mine is an alien, but it was rolled as KDF. So it has to be rolled as KDF and it'll show you in the menu in the creation screen. The I believe during these events, it also will give you a free um, character slot as well. So um, that's kind of nice if you're max like I am on my, my main account, which I already have one, so I won't be creating another one. Um, you cannot create a Romulan and then align with the KDF that's not going to count, okay? So during this event, you roll that KDF character, and what you're gonna wanna do is jump in and start playing it. Very early on in the tutorial missions that you have, 
you are going to be given this device here, an encrypted Klingon uh, receiver. And what this device does once you have it is it makes that character a recruit. Now, if you are in the middle of leveling something else, or you're not interested in, you know, going down this road and going, th you know, leveling up a Klingon character at the moment, you do not have to progress any farther at this point. Once you have this device in your inventory, you could log out of that character and come back to him in six months and still be able to get all the rewards. You can take all the time you need to go through and, and get the rewards, but you must make the character during the time slot um, that's allotted and you must receive this device. You can't just create the character and then leave. You have to create the character and get this device and you get this device really early on. So like within 10 or 15 minutes, you can get the device, have the recruit and then come back to it later. Let's take a look at the device itself. So the device basically is going to show you what you can get and keeps basically a log of what you completed and all those kinds of things. This is my free to play account. And I, I, I only went through this far enough to just unlock the main things that I want. So I got a ton of stuff in here that uh, has, hasn't been completed, which I should because anything that you complete in here, let's say for instance, uh, these, these melee kills, uh, most things, not all of them, but most things that give you like marks or dilithium or, you know, fleet credits or whatever it may be. Once you complete it and you claim it, you can then reclaim a version of that reward on all your characters account wide. So you can see that if you have multiples of these different kinds of recruits, and then you say roll a new character for some reason, that character can start off with just a ton of resources that he can claim right away from day one. And the main rewards in this are something that you can also do from day one. So for each of these, in order to complete them, all you have to do is click on it. It'll give you a description of what needs to be done. Once that's completed, then you'll be able to claim the, the item. Um, so I've already claimed this and on my other characters, I can then reclaim this item and have it unlocked. So let's talk about the what, what's real big on, on this and why I feel like it's important to make sure that especially new players are aware of, uh, of this particular event. So if we scroll down here, there are, or there is an item here, which is a ship. And this is something that you can earn very early on. We'll take a look at the ship and, and what else is important about it here in just a moment. But basically, you can earn this ship and unlock it for the character within an hour or so of playing or less. Um, because it, all you have to do is complete and kill all the enemies in a very early mission, which is bringing down the house. And so if we click back on the item here. Um, it'll say here exactly what, what needs to be done. So you just have to kill all the enemies and bringing down the house. It's super easy. And it's right at the beginning of the second phase of the, the Klingon arc. And the first phase is mostly tutorial. So you're going to complete this very quickly and then complete this mission. And it's super straightforward. Once you do that, you just open up your device and click on that item. It'll be lighting up if you haven't claimed it and claim it. Now, this is a Klingon ship that you're going to get. Let's take a look at it, okay? I am in it right now. It's kind of cool looking. It's a little different. They made it specific. It is a you know Klingon bird of prey, so you can use some of those original looking skins on it, which is nice if you prefer that better. Um, we'll take a quick look at the ship itself. Um, it's not bad. It's a halfway decent ship. It's got a fairly nice layout here. You can, you know, X upgrade it multiple times to the X2. Uh, the both layout is, um, and there's like two misclicks right off the bat, is fairly decent. It's an okay ship. If you don't have any paid ships and you just have the basic stuff, then this is going to be very nice to get. And one of the, the really nice things is this also scales. So if you continue playing your Klingon recruit and you don't have other ships, you can use this at basically any level after the tutorial. You can claim this ship and use it, and it'll scale with your level for the bridge officer abilities and with the console slots. So that's really, really nice. Now, the big selling point, because if you're someone that, you know, maybe already has kind of the ships you want and stuff, um, you know, the, the ships may be a five out of five. It's not bad, but it's not the best in the world. And you probably either love it or hate it, or maybe you don't like the Klingons, so you're not really interested in the ship. The biggest selling point is that it comes with Withering Barrage for its starship trait. So once you get this ship and you level the mastery in it, you're going to get Withering Barrage. 
Withering Barrage is one of the must-have meta traits if you're going to run cannons. Um, it extends the fire du duration by four seconds. So when you click on Cannon Scatter Volley, um, what you have is a cooldown that you can speed up to a maximum of, I believe, 15 seconds is the maximum. And the trade itself only, or the firing ability itself only runs for 10 seconds. So you have a five second gap that it is not running. When you add this trait, that bumps it up to 14 seconds, which gives you, you know, a 99 point whatever. It's not 99, but it gives you a, a maximum uptime that you can get out of Scatter Volley, which is almost 100% of the time. You're only down one second. Um, so that massively increases the amount of damage outputs and usability of Cannon Scatter Volley, which is arguably one of the best firing modes in the entire game. So it's it's an excellent, excellent trait. And up until the addition of this event, you would have to spend $30 in order to buy the ship to where you could get this from. And so being able to have a ship for free that you can that is decent, it's scalable, and has this trait on it is very, very good. Now, we need to talk about the unlocking, though, of this ship on other characters. Because I know for me, on this particular account, my main characters are basically all fed, and um, they... Um, I wasn't real interested in, you know, having a Klingon ship or, you know, I, but I wanted the trait. So this ship is unlockable cross faction, just like every other Klingon ship. But we need to make sure that everybody is aware of how you unlock cross faction flyability. So when you start the game, if you're a Federation character, level 65, max level, if you were to buy a Klingon ship, you would not be able to fly that ship because it's not of your faction. In order to unlock it, there's two different ways so you can cross-faction fly. One is to pay, I think it's like $20 US, to unlock cross-faction flyability. The other thing that they had added to the game when this event originally went live is a way to unlock that, and they actually added all of the cross-faction flyability, but the other way to unlock it is to have a Klingon that you have gotten to level 65. So if you say only have a fed character right now and you go ahead and roll a recruit and you unlock the ship, the only way for you to get it on your fed character in order to unlock the trait or fly the ship as well would be to either pay the $20 or continue leveling that recruit to level 65. Once the recruit or any Klingon character is at level 65 that automatically for free unlocks cross faction flyability for you at which point you can go and reclaim this ship and we'll jump over to where um, you can reclaim this ship while uh, while I'm talking here I'll go over to a fed character to do it um, if you're trying to reclaim it on another KDF it's going to be um, in the, um, the the main social hub the uh, home world um, for Federation characters to reclaim the ship, it's going to be on ESD. And I'll jump over to another character here uh, while I'm talking. So you'll you'll need to have, again, a level 65 character, or you'll need to pay for the cross-faction unlock. Once you've done either one of those things, you now have a free tier 6 ship that scales, that you can reclaim on any character, and it will have this trait on it, which is Withering Barrage, which is a very, very good trait which is awesome. So you now have the ship cross faction can use it all the time. So let's go ahead and jump over to ESD. And I'm just going to show you where to reclaim this for the fed side. Um, you can reclaim it obviously as a Romulan as well. You would either go to the, the first city or you would go to where I'm going to show you here on ESD as well. Um, I'm not going to show the the first city because it's just too much of a run and I'll have to just ramble on to fill up that time. Um, but if you have a question on that, jump into the Discord server. There's a link down in the description and you can just ask where to reclaim uh, recruit rewards and uh, we can show you there and post you know a little map or something like that. So for the Fed side, you're just going to come over to ESD. You're going to dock. And once we get down here, we're going to run back to where the NPC is that you go to, to claim. And you're going to see when I do this, there's going to be a whole bunch of different recruits I can pick from and then all their different rewards. And that'll give you a good idea at how, um, you know, how much th th having these recruits really makes a difference to your account long term. So if we come over and talk to this guy here, he's our temporal agent. Uh, we're going to click on him. 
what's temporal recruit and you see all these different ones here now on the klingon i only did enough to just get the ship because that's all i really cared about we have temporal i need to do some work there same with gamma um, there is just tons of stuff you can reclaim. A lot of these are grayed out because I've already reclaimed some of the some of the stuff like on on the Delta. So if we come over to the temporal recruits or not temporal Klingon recruit, and then we're just going to find the ship at the top, and here it is. And then I can just click on this, okay, and it's going to put an inventory in our box in my inventory here. So I would just unlock this just like I would if I bought the ship or whatever. Go over to the ship manager and switch ships and set it up and fly it. So uh, all in all, um, you, you really can't beat it. I love free stuff, and that's really what <laughs> I focus on a lot of the time here, you know, because I don't have tons of money to just blow on video games. So anytime I can get it for free, um, I am going to do that. So let's just recap, guys. We have a temporal recruit coming up on, or not te why do I keep saying temporal? We have a Klingon re recruit event coming up on the 15th, and you are going to need to roll a recruit or create a new character that is a KDF. It can't just be KDF aligned like a Romulan that you align or a Jemadar that you align. It has to be a KDF character. Again, the character screen will kind of walk you through that a little bit. Um, once you roll that, you need to play through the tutorial. It's like 15, 20 minutes, not even, and you'll get the device given to you at, I'm um, not on that character anymore, but at that point you would be a KDF recruit and you would be able to get um, all the rewards from that and you can come back to it later. It doesn't have to be done all at that time. And I apologize, all my dogs are going crazy because somebody's here. So once that is in your inventory, you're good to go. You can come back to it whenever you want. You use that device in order to figure out what things you need to complete in order to unlock rewards. Once you unlock rewards, you can go to the temporal agent on for any faction and reclaim those awards. With the exception of the ship, you must have the cross faction unlock, which is either paid for or you have a KDF character that has been max leveled. You don't have to complete the missions. You don't have to complete the stories. I actually, what I did on mine is I got the ship and then I got a bunch of um, duty officer missions and waited for a double XP weekend. And I just ran a whole bunch of duty officer missions and leveled up to max level within, I think it was four hours. <laughs> so a little cheat there going around it. Those are a little expensive to buy off the exchange, um, but that's just what I did. So you don't have to do anything extra other than just getting that character to the level 65. That'll unlock the cross faction. And then you can go and reclaim that ship on any other faction and then unlock the withering barrage trait. There are a bunch of other goodies that you can get some really cool bath there's all kinds of resources that you can get unlocked and a lot of those resources are also um, reclaimable as well so as you saw in my list and that list isn't all as complete as it could be because this is my free to play and I don't put quite as much time or haven't put as much time into it as I have on my main account on my main account if I roll a new character I have more fleet marks and and reputation marks than I even know what to do with from having these characters so make sure you don't sleep on this again if you're a brand new player you've just started and you haven't been through a, a recruit event or you didn't take advantage of it last time it's definitely worth doing because you get that free ship you get that meta trait and you get a whole bunch of other resources that you can retrain all right, guys, that is it. Um, I hope that was helpful. If it was, uh, hit that thumbs up button, hit the sub button. That really helps me out. And again, if you have further questions, join the Discord server. Links down in the description. We'd be more than happy to, uh, to help you out there. All right, guys, Till next time, have a good one. I appreciate you watching. Hey, guys, appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, ring the bell, and sub to the channel for the latest news updates and how-to guides.